specified can't interval. can't take it anymore! Since when do they expect us to learn things in detention? Tell That's it. I'm dead. Death by math. Here lies Masako. Killed by numbers. I don't even go to this school. Huh? What is it, Kyoko? Ricky and Kunio! They've been... Kidnapped! Oh, Ricky, I'll save you! I'm coming, Kunio! Girls, please take your seats. No, you take them! <laughs> you can't silence love, Mr. Rudis! We'll find whoever took our boyfriends and beat them into the street! Also, your lessons are boring! Yeah, what she said! What's going on? like we've got some troublemakers in detention. You kids know what to do. out of school, find our boyfriends, and beat the life out of whoever took them! Good plan! Thanks! I just came up with it! Whoa! You are like crazy smart, Masako!
rolls and rice. Don't let those girls out of here. and Ricky. I wonder who sent us that text message. Yeah, huh? Check your phone, Kyoko. For what? Huh? To find out who sent us that text? Oh, yeah! It says, uh, Blocked Caller. That's a weird name. Damn it. Of course it would be blocked. Oh, you know him? Come on. Oh. <laughs> Look, it's those girls. Thought I smelled something. Hasabe! Mommy! Hey, Misako. Shouldn't you two be in detention or something? We broke out. OMG, seriously? I was joking. And I'm ditching my school to hang out here. Have you two seen Kunio or Ricky? Just like every day. Every night, actually. They've been kidnapped! I got a text! That must be so special for you. Sorry, girls. Haven't seen them, but we'll, like, so let you know the second we do. Right, Mommy? Oh, for sure. Thanks. We gotta go beat up more people now. Laters. seem nice. Yeah, but they're crazy. Oh? They think they're dating Kunio and Ricky. What? They better not be! Relax. Their brains are just broken. They're gonna be a lot more broken if they ever touch my Ricky! Today, we're going to learn about puberty. Puberty? But I don't know what that is. That's cause you're... Ignorant Timmy. Puberty stands for punching until bricks explode right towards you. Wow! Now do you understand? Not at all. Well, let's see if we can find someone to help pound the knowledge into your tiny brain. <sighs> Golly gee, is that? Bobo, glad to meet you, Timmy. You're so cute. Oh, thanks to puberty. 
with enough effort, you can get as big as me! Give it a try? I guess so. <laughs> You'll have to punch harder than that, Timmy! <laughs> oh, so weak. Ah, puberty. Downstairs, relax. Sit through the front. Great plan. I just hope Miss Susie is not here today. Oh, geez, what if she is? You're gonna let a 300 pound security guard stand between you and Ricky? No. <laughs> Oh! 
sign of security. Maybe she's on break. Uh-oh. Out of our way, Miss Suzu! Yeah, we don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Ha-ha! <laughs> you scrawny runts couldn't hurt a fly! No way! Flies are easy to hurt! As part of the school defense force, it's my job to keep idiots like you from sneaking out of class. But you don't even go to this school. <sighs> Shut up! I'm trying to earn extra money! Eep. Don't act like you're smarter than me. I've been in high school for seven years! Ain't nobody smarter at school stuff than Masuzu! I don't care how big or how dumb you are. We're getting out of the school right now. Yeah, we gotta save Kunio and Ricky. So go punch through another wall until you figure out how doors work. Ugh, that's it, you little turds. Time to get flushed. Get over here! <laughs> are tougher than you look. Give me a real workout. I'd rather give you a hug, FYI. Stay down. Don't make us fight you again. Got a real mouth on you. Must be why Kunio likes you. Have you seen Kunio? And Ricky? Yeah, but not around here. I saw them both in Crosstown yesterday, talking to someone creepy looking. Good luck finding your little boy toys. I'm surprised they'd be interested in a pair of twigs like you two. Hey, is that a compliment, or...? Boys hate scrawny little bugs. They want a woman with meat on her bones. And I got all the meat. If you find Kunio and Ricky, you tell them Masuzu says, Hi. <laughs> Ew. Come on, Kyoko. 
Sorry for punching you so much. 